Hello friends, how are you all today? Have you ever wondered uh, what are Jacobians and how uh, we can use Jacobians to solve the engineering problems? It's coming up right now. Now we will solve the similar problem with the different type of data given in the question. Okay, so that is use the transformation that is u by v plus one comma u v by v plus 1 to compute the double integration over r which is x plus y dx dy where R is the region defined in the following graph. So, this is the graph. And let us first discuss how this problem is different from the previous problem. Okay, previously you see that the question just mentioned about what double integration you need to solve and what was the region where you are supposed to solve. That's all. It didn't mention anything about what is the transformation you are supposed to use and that gave us the freedom to choose whatever transformation you want. We chose the easiest one, right, and we solved the problem. Now, in this case, the major difference comes that major difference is that so they have specified what is the transformation in the sense x has to be this y has to be this they already have mentioned that's the difference other than that right they have given the question and they have given a region r previously this region r was a parallelogram now it is some other shape All right. Okay. Now, uh, our intention is that we have to uh, note down first what are the transformations. So I'll write the transformation uh, is the we can write the x is equal to this is u divided by v plus 1 and the y is u v over v plus 1. All right. Now, uh, I have to be very specific, right? I should use u is u and v as given, All right? Which means my intention is that I have to find out the limits, right? For u and v, u varies from this number to this number. The v varies from this number to this number. Like that, I need a range, right? In so to identify that, I need to understand how the x and y are varying in this region, right? So first, I'll write given r is in such a way that it is in terms of x and y. Okay, such that now. You can define either x varying from a range and y varying from the other range. But this is, uh, this area is bounded by four different curves, right? All the four curves we know that, that they are mentioned on the graph. Now, what we do here, we try to write the 
the boundaries of the region right in terms of x and x plus y okay that that's because this i can understand one thing here is uh, the y varies let's let's make a note from the graph y is clearly mentioned that y varies from x to 2x y is equal to x is this curve y is equal to 2x is the other curve it means definitely the y varies as per this rule throughout the region that's my one uh, the first uh, range i'm going to write uh, definitely that's not u and v right somehow i need to convert the the ranges what i'm going to write here i need to convert them into u and v at a later stage okay but anyway i cannot do it directly so i'm writing in this fashion now so what i do here i'll write x is the minimum value less than or equal to y less than or equal to 2x this is the range for y at the same time i also note that from the graph the x plus y varies from 3 to 6 this is the other region which they have given okay so anyway i'll write them as it is later on i'll think how to convert that into the u and v okay so the least value of x plus y is 3 less than or equal to x plus y less than or equal to 6 this is the given range okay now what we do let's keep this uh, equation for r the whole uh, region given let's keep as it is let's try to can we uh, let's try to think how do we convert these two ranges into x and y right is it possible to do it easily right we just check from the given values of x and y we want to convert the two equations denoted by this to x and y okay let's see what we can do here okay there is a term called x plus y correct so let's try to do the x plus y from this okay so x plus y is nothing but the first term says u by v plus 1 plus second term is u v by uh, okay this is v plus 1 so this is equal to i'll take a u common from both of them into v plus 1 divided by v plus 1 so this means it is u correct so we got one answer very easy so there will be some trick for each problem uh, it's not common in this case it's our, uh, we are lucky that this worked right so i saw the x plus y there and i know that x plus y is given simply i added up right which resulted in u which indicates i can replace this as u in my problem okay so that's the first thing anyway we'll write the updated region r later so that when you write the r this becomes d now the new range okay or the new region right that's that's fine now somehow i need to get a y here uh not y sorry a v here so can you use x and y to get a v i think yes see there is u by v plus one there is u by v plus one i can cancel them out only if you divide so let's do y by x okay so always you need to do some trick over here to convert this into the x and y as per your requirement so let me do y by x so what is y by x this is uv over v plus 1 this is v this is y divided by u by v plus 1 so u by v plus 1 u by v plus 1 cancel so you are left with v so if at all you are able to get the y by x somewhere then you can replace that by v now what you what, what i what i can do here is i can divide this whole thing by uh, x so what happens x x cancels there is one y by x at the center x x cancels here it's a two right so i can say that I, i'll rewrite this now okay just to make things clear i'll rewrite this i understood that if i have a y by x as an equation i can rewrite that as a uh, 
u and v in terms of u and v therefore i'll write so this implies i can rewrite the r first in terms of x and y such a way that see i divide by x i just erase this part because we don't want uh, this term okay now just to rewrite this this is 1 less than or equal to y by x less than or equal to 2 and 3 less than or equal to x plus y less than or equal to 6. So it is very clear that I can replace the x plus y by u and uh, y by x by b. So this implies the new region that is d. We require d in, in my substitution part of the equation of the uh, equation to solve the double integrals. All right, so now I write equation in terms of u comma v. See, this is the trans, uh, transformation. One less than or equal to uh, v less than or equal to two, three less than or equal to u less than or equal to six. Okay, so we got it. So we converted the r into d as per the required transformation this is the first step always for any given problem we'll be doing this first now i know what is x i know what is y in order to calculate the jacobian right i need right i need what i need the dou x by dou u dou x by dou v etc so let's just do that calculation so because x and y are given so let me write the x and y once again so x is equal to u by v plus 1 and y is equal to u v by v plus 1. So just to fill up the uh, Jacobian matrix and to calculate its determinant at a later stage, uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm simply calculating the partial derivatives that is dou x by dou u first it's going to be 1 divided by v plus 1. Then dou x by dou v, if you want to calculate, u is a constant, but v plus 1 in the denominator, so this is minus u by the v plus 1 the whole square. Okay, then uh, dou y by dou u, I want to calculate. So this is v divided by v plus 1 and then i want to calculate dou y by dou v okay you can see that u is a constant over there but v by v plus 1 right it's going to have we are going to apply the quotient rule right so quotient rule says that keep u as it is let me keep it here so keep the denominator that is v plus 1 into derivative of numerator is 1 minus the u comes once again uh, keep the v as it is derivative of denominator is 1 whole divided by denominator square so that is v plus 1 the whole square so what happens here this is uv minus uv so uv cancels it is simply uh, u divided by the v plus 1 the whole square that is dou v by dou y uh, sorry dou y by dou v I'm sorry. okay now what we do we calculate the uh, the jacobian determinant of the jacobian matrix so what i want to calculate here is the j x comma y over u comma v i want to calculate its determinant so therefore what i'm going to substitute is uh, let me write the values first that is dou x by dou u do x by do v do y by do u do y by do v so that's okay so now all right let's substitute this is equal to 
I want the row x by w that is one by v plus one. I want the row x by do v minus u divided by that is v plus one the whole square. And this is v by v plus one. This is u by v plus one the whole square. determinant so this is going to give me an answer like i want to have u divided by uh, v plus one whole q minus this is uh, minus of minus so i'll write a plus this is uv divided by v plus one v whole q So this is equal to u into v plus one divided by the v plus one whole cube. This cancels with this as two. So my answer of determinant is u divided by v plus one the whole cube. Okay. All right. In the next step, uh, I think we have all the answers required to substitute in the equation. So let's go to the equation itself. Therefore, so this is my final answer, uh, final stage of the answering that integration over the given range R, uh, x plus y dx dy. I can replace this as now double integration over some d right x should be replaced in terms of uh, okay x plus y but i know the what is i know what is x plus y right just go back and check so if you have x plus y that is simply u see x plus y can be replaced as u so what we do well directly go back and replace that this way so x plus y is nothing but simply u into right the i need to write the jacobian i know what is the Jac what what value we got for jacobian right that is into this is u divided by v plus one the whole square into du dv okay what i do here i'll save uh, one step by replacing the value of d here itself right i know that the value is nothing but the v varying from one to two and u varying from three to six all right let us integrate this means first i am doing the integration with respect to u and there is a u square in the numerator so that's the only term containing u so u square is u cube by 3 correct right? so my integration is v is equal to 1 to 2 right this is u cube divided by 3 times v plus 1 the whole square into db substitute the values 3 to 6 so this okay so let's do the calculation that is six cube minus three cube all right and you divide that by three so that gives okay this is one to two sixty three times one by v plus one the whole square db So this is equal to, I keep 63 outside, integration of 1 by v plus 1 the whole square is minus 1 by v plus 1, substitution should be 1 to 2. 
okay let's simplify that this is two plus one and one two one so that simplifies to about right, ten point five which is the required answer okay let's move on to the next question The question is like this. If R is the region bounded by the curves x y equals to one, x y equals to three y equal to 2 and y equal to 6 and the region and the region thinned by the transformation the transformation is mentioned x is equal to v by 6 u and y is equal to 2 u so they are not asking us to solve a double integral but they are mentioning that just find out what region we get. All right, to start with, let's draw the graph. So corresponding to this, this is the required graph. All right, so we see that this is the curve. This represents the curves given over there. x, y equal to one, x, y equal to three, y equal to two, and y equal to six. All right, directly we have plotted now. So, so we can try to apply in order to find out the different regions, right? We are supposed to uh, calculate the different boundaries, right? So we know that y is equal to two and y is equal to six are the two different uh, boundaries given in this case. But y is equal to 2u, correct? So let's uh, start from there. So they have given the transformation is y is equal to 2u. This implies you can get u as y by 2, right? u as y by 2, which means there is a clear cut region saying that y ranges from 2 to 6. So therefore, what is the range? y equal to 2, this implies u is equal to 2. You have to have a specific value, now, correct? u is equal to 1. And y is equal to 6 implies u is equal to Three. So, I understood that the y varies like this. So, u varies from 1 to 3. All right. My uh, next equation, I should replace x as v by 6u. Right. Let's go to that part now right i'll go to that uh, x y is 1 x y is 3 okay so let's write so it says that uh, another equation says x is equal to v by 6 times u all right 
So if you want to calculate V, it is X into 6U. That's my first point. But anyway, I'm not going to use that because uh, U, I, I cannot have an equation with the two unknowns. This is my first point. X is equal to V by 6U, right? But I use the other point. They, they give uh, the conditions like X, Y, right, equal to 1, where Y is equal to what I know. Y is equal to 2U, right? This implies X is what? X is V by 6U into what is Y? Y is equal to 2U. This is equal to 1. So wherein I can see that U cancels. This is V by 3. Right, so v by 3 is 1 implies this implies v is equal to 3. I got another thing. Similarly, I also know that the xy is equal to 3 is my other region. So I write xy equal to 1, uh, not 1, so 3. xy is equal to 3 implies, anyway, xy gives me v by 3, v by 3 is equal to 3. That implies V is equal to 9. So U varies from 1 to 3. V varies from 3 to 9. Is the new region. That is the answer for this question. Okay. I think we can write uh, a graph corresponding to that. And this is the graph corresponding to this answer. We can see u varying from 1 to 3 and v varying from 3 to 9 generates the region like this. The next problem is like this. This is uh, evaluate double integral over a region r x plus 2y into dA where r is a, it's a triangle, okay? It's a triangle with the vertices uh, 0, 3, 4 comma 1 and 2 comma 6 using the using the transform so the transform equations are given here x is equal to half of u minus v and y is equal to 1 by 4 times 3u plus v plus 12. Okay, so this is the given diagram for that. So, just to save some time, I have uh, calculated the equations of the straight lines connecting the vertices of the given triangle. Okay, so let me just uh, mark the vertex vertices over here. This is uh, 0, 3. This is 4 comma 1 and this is 2 comma 6. All right, so we can see the equations given, equations that can be calculated. Normally we say that that's our first step. Whenever we solve these kind of problems, that's our first step. But anyway, it's already available for us. <laughs> Now, uh, what we can do here, 
the x and y already have been given. So let's try to transform the boundaries, right? Boundaries of uh, these curves into the u and v, right? So we know that they already have given, right? Uh, I'll just write to transform the boundaries in the sense boundaries of the given region we'll start with each of the straight lines so the first straight line says y is equal to 3 by 2 x plus 3 you can see that that's i'm taking from here okay now this means i can actually substitute x and the y values from the given transform so the given transform says that what y you are supposed to substitute there and what values of x you are supposed to substitute y is actually given as 1 by 4 times the i think 3u plus v plus 12 should be equal to 3 by 2 times i should write the value of x again we can see that in the given transform x value is given as 1 by 2 times the u minus v plus 3. Okay, so let us try to simplify this. This means it is 3u by 4 plus v by 4 plus 3 equals to this is 3u by 4 minus 3v by 4 plus 3 so 3u by 4 3u by 4 3 and 3 will cancel this means i can take the 3v by 4 to the other side to make 3 by 4 plus 1 by 4 is v that means on the other side i am left with nothing so i got the v value to be equal to 0 all right so that's the first part next we'll go to the another equation of straight line uh, i'll take y is equal to minus of 5 by 2x plus 11. This is the next equation what I have. I will make a similar substitution here. This is 1 by 4 times 3u plus v plus 12 should be equal to this is minus 5 by 2 times minus 5 by 2 into 1 by 2 into u minus v plus i think 11 okay so this is 3u by 4 plus v by 4 plus 3 is equal to minus 5 by 4u plus 5 by 4v plus 11. Okay, so let us simplify this now. So the value comes to be how many v we have? 5 by 4v minus 1 by 4v, which means it is just v. I'll keep v on one side. Okay, let me move all the terms to other side. So how many u's I have? 3 by 4u, 5 by 4u. So 3 plus 5 is 8, 8 by 4 is 2. So this is 2u and uh, 11 you take to other side, this is minus 8. All right, I got second condition. 
okay we'll see what all we get then we'll uh, decide what to do further okay let's go to the next equation so the third equation what we have is uh, i think y is equal to minus 1 by 2x plus 3 so y is equal to 1 by 4 times 3u plus v plus 12 this is equal to minus 1 by 2 times 1 by 2 times u minus v plus 3 okay all right so okay now let us uh, substitute this means uh, left hand side is 3u by 4 plus v by 4 plus 3 should be equal to minus u by 4 plus v by 4 plus 3 3 3 cancels v by 4 v by 4 cancel 3u plus 3u by 4 plus v by u by 4 is 4u by 4 so that is u other side is left with 0 right now you can see that uh, this whatever boundaries you are looking at one is v is equal to zero one more is u is equal to zero okay so v equal to zero if you take it as a vertical axis then that becomes a y axis we call it as a v axis then u equal to zero becomes the horizontal axis corresponding to the x axis we have x a y equal to zero that means right it's a horizontal axis other one is a vertical axis right fine we understood that now what we are supposed to do is uh, let us try to plot this and the plot is going to look something like this okay so let's plot it. And this is how it's going to be. right. So you can see here one axis which uh, we have it over here. This is the one with u equals to zero and this is the one corresponding to right the v equals to zero right and the third line is already being plotted over there okay now so what are the limits that we can actually define here right we can define the limits like the u will definitely vary right i can see that the u varies from 0 to 4 this is the limit of u but the v varies like this this is the variation of v u varies horizontally from uh, 0 to 4 okay this is 4 this is 0 but the v is not varying from 0 to minus 8 right it actually varies as per this equation maximum value being 0 minimum value being 2u minus 8 okay so let us now write the limits okay i'll call it as therefore the transformed limits right are as follows the first one is 0 less than or equal to u less than or equal to 4 and the v varies with the minimum value that is 2u minus 8 less than or equal to v less than 
are equal to zero. Okay, similar to the x and y values, the limits are being varied as per these values. Also, we have the values, uh, we have the equations given for x and y. Okay, so corresponding to the x and y values, right, I will directly write the Jacobian now. So that means I want Jacobian of x comma y over u comma v. I, I want the determinant. This is nothing but as per the standard equation, this is dou x by dou u, dou x by dou v, dou y by dou u, dou y by dou v. From where I am going to substitute these values, uh, I just have to look at the given set of equations. So, let's see here, these are the values, these are the equations to be used. X and Y are given, right? Simply differentiate them with respect to U and V to get the required answer. All right, let me substitute the values here. This means I can see that this is 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2. This is 3 by 4. This is 1 by 4. So up, upon simplifications, uh, we get the value equal to 0.5 or half. Okay. In the next step, I want to solve the double integral over R. This is the given range R. X plus 2y into dx dy. This is nothing but, now I know the limits of u and v, right? I know that the u varies from 0 to 4 and I know that v varies from 2u minus 8 till 0. I have to write the x plus 2y. So first I write the x value. x is nothing but half of u minus v given transformation plus 2 times the y value is given as 1 by 4 times 3u 3u uh, plus v plus 12 okay into i need to multiply the determinant so the determinant value came half right according to your order of integration you can write du dv or dv du in this case because first i'm going to integrate with respect to v then i'll do the integration with respect to u okay so this is uh, first let me write it 0 to 4 integral 2u minus 8 to 0. Okay, let me club the terms of u together. So half u uh, and 3 by 2u, 1 by 2 plus 3 by 2 is 4 by 2. Uh, 2. You, how many u's we have? We have 1 by 2u plus, oh, this is 1 by 4. So we have u plus u value, right? This is u. Then minus v plus 2v. It's a v. u plus 3. Okay, we get the value as v plus u plus 3, sorry, u plus 3 dv du. Okay, now, so this means this is equal to integral 0 to 4 
I have u plus 3 as it is, it's a constant. This becomes simply v from 2u minus 8 to 0 times du. All right, so this has to be equal to integral 0 to 4. There is a u plus 3 into this is when you put 0, it's 0. Minus means this is minus 2u plus 8 du. This is equal to, let's multiply this first before I go ahead with the integration. This is 8, these are 24 plus 2u minus 2u square times du. So this gives 24 times u plus 2u becomes u square by 2, 2, 2 cancels minus 2, this is u cube by 3. Right. To this, substitute 0 to 4. Okay, upon simplification, we got an answer 208 by 3, which is a required answer. That's all about Jacobians and its engineering applications. Based on the concepts we discussed here, you can apply those concepts to various problems in different uh, engineering applications and you can try to solve them very easily. In case of any doubts, please feel free to contact us. We can definitely help you out in solving the problems from your old question papers, your assignments, and many more. Good luck.